We understand buying goalkeeper gloves online is a challenge. It is tough to select a goalkeeper glove for the season, for games and practices, or it matches your uniform, or matches your body type based on a thumbnail or a thousand by a thousand image. That's what we're here for at Keeperstop.com, your goalkeeper glove experts. We have five considerations for you to select the best goalkeeper glove based on your budget and your playing use. Number one is gonna be finger protection or non-finger protection. This is where you're gonna start your glove selection journey. And the reason why this is important is it changes your catching experience. When you add finger protection to the glove, yes, you're getting more support. The gloves can bend forward with ease and they won't go past 180 degrees. So these unidirectional spines add a little bit of rigidity, so they add support and protection, right? So you have a couple examples here, the Elite Sport Black Solo, and you have the Roish Orthotech. They're two top of the line goalkeeper gloves with finger protection at different price point. Or you can go non-finger protection, and these are definitely uh, less rigid, right? They're a little bit more minimalist, they're a little bit lighter in weight, but again, it's for that goalkeeper that does not require finger protection. And there's no right answer, finger protection or not. That's based on personal choice. A youth goalkeeper may need more support, you're developing strength, you're recovering from injury, that's finger protection. So let's go now into our next consideration, number two. We're gonna go based on price. And I have a couple examples here and they're really glaring as two Roish gloves, all right? So you have a top of the line Roish glove. This is a game level glove. And what you get in a game level glove is you're getting soft latex, you're getting a material that may be a higher quality or more comfortable, you're getting more cushioning. I mean, you can see the difference in the materials here. In a less expensive glove, you may get um, more durability in the palm. So more synthetics, the material on the backhand may be a PVC. So you're gonna see that there is a difference in um, the actual quality of the glove material and doesn't make one better than the other because again, our consideration now is price, it's your budget. And you wanna make a goalkeeper glove selection based on the family budget. Because again, we lose goalkeeper gloves, we outgrow them, and there's no way around it. They're perishables, they break down. So with that, we wanna make sure that we select a goalkeeper glove that meets our budget. I mean, we're talking about a $130 glove versus a Roish glove that is in the $40 price range, depending on where you pick it up. They're gonna serve different purposes. They're gonna perform differently. And for that goalkeeper, if you have a $40 budget, there's gonna be a glove that's gonna meet your needs. It may not have the same characteristics of that $130 glove that offers a little bit better grip, that offers you know more stretchy four-way stretch materials or, or more quality materials or different stitching but you still get a goalkeeper glove that meets your need. And that's the most important thing, having the goalkeeper glove. You can build on top of that experience. You can develop more knowledge about what you need when you play and you experience the goalkeeper gloves. So you don't have to start right off the bat at the top. Number three is going to be use or purpose. Do you require a practice option with more durability? Or do you require a game option that has exceptional grip Obviously it's gonna sacrifice durability because there's always a sacrifice between grip and durability. You have better grip, you're gonna sacrifice durability. You have more durability, you're gonna sacrifice grip. There's no way around that. So again, game level grip, softer, tackier, but contrary to durability. You have a glove with more durability. That means maybe you play on turf. This could be a game glove. This is a, a great glove from one glove featuring a, a denser latex. All right, so now you have a practice option or a game dry condition, to add more confusion, a game dry condition glove for you in a game environment. All right, let's, let's throw another wrinkle in there. You need a wet weather glove. There's wet weather gloves as well. So part of this, I would say it's like a secondary consideration. Game and practice, definitely primary there. Second would be whether you play in wet conditions more. And there are wet condition gloves. This is a, um, an elite support uh, hybrid cut and it features their wet weather glove. Um, and then you also have all weather options. So utilizing um, another Roish option, so this is tacky. And this will give you a really soft latex for all weather conditions. And we found that this glove, when kept damp, will increase the grip as well as slightly increase the durability in game environments when kept damp. But again, 
it's an all weather condition glove. To add another wrinkle in that, you do have some gloves that have fusion latexes, which hopefully add more durability um, in the glove because they add high grip elements or different quartz materials in there to increase the friction in the game gloves. So you do have some fusion elements, but those are traditionally still game gloves. So let me bring that back on the use, which I think is very important. It's game versus practice. And then you can talk about conditions. Do you play in wet weather? Do you play in dry conditions? So that's use. The fourth consideration for us is going to be the glove cut or the comfort of the glove, how it fits your hand. And that's gonna be determined based on a few different elements. And the first thing I like to say, it's your preference. I'm an athletic build, as all of you guys know, um, and I prefer a certain cut. And that could be roll, it could be flat, it could be negative. There's a variety of cuts, but I have my preference. I think I know what my body likes. I think I know what fits my hand best. And how I've determined that as a goalkeeper is through experience. I try different gloves on. A couple of rules to help determine the correct cut or fit for you is an athletic build or a wider hand. Maybe you have a little bit more weight, just as a little bit more substance to you, you'll require a wider cut such as a flat palm cut, right? This is gonna be a, a little bit wider. Um, you have hybrid cuts that have roll characteristics and negative cut characteristics. So this would be an H and half negative. And so maybe that is better for you to pull on and off to fit your hand. You have many goalkeepers as well that are really uh, tall and slender, maybe a developing male goalkeeper or a female goalkeeper, but the hand characteristics are long fingers and a narrow palm. And many of those goalkeepers, and this is what the pros typically use, is something called a negative cut. And so this is a negative cut by one glove. So it's gonna be a little bit harder to get on. It's going to be very form fitting. So again, with a little bit more athletic build, I gotta be patient pulling it on. So if this is the glove that I prefer, this cut, then I have to be patient pulling it on, pulling it off. So I have most likely the tightest cut that I would like, and this is that negative cut. So it pulls all that extra material inside. So it's important to really figure out what glove cut you like to determine what fits you the best and what you prefer. Because for me, that fit and that um, cut really helps build confidence. It helps you have more control of the ball. So you're thinking about the catch rather than the sloppiness of the glove. Very important as well as size. And make sure the glove fits right from a sizing perspective. Make sure it's not so super tight where you're popping out the top of the glove. Also make sure that your fingers are not resting somewhere down here. And that means you have less control of the glove. So you have to make sure it fits from a length perspective as well. Um, you know, the cut perspective, will help you with what you prefer, your body, your height, your weight, your finger length, asking if you have a narrow palm and long fingers, or do you have you know, a thicker palm, you know, right? Do you do con construction for a living? Are you more of an athletic build like I characterize myself as? So again, that cut is a preference uh, consideration that's gonna help with the overall comfort of the glove. Lastly, number five, you pick it here, all right? It's gonna be style, it's gonna be the color, that should be your last consideration, but we find many goalkeepers will use color as their primary way of picking a goalkeeper glove. Do they like a black glove? And that's what they pick. And then they're disappointed because they have just a black glove. But again, for us, for keeper stop, the goalkeeper glove experts, what we want is for you to have a glove that fits correctly, that has the right amount of support or protection that you want first, um, and then be appropriate for your playing needs. So let the color be the last consideration. I love a nice vibrant glove, but make sure it has those other considerations first. We get this is challenging. That's why we're here, all right? We discussed it in the beginning. We know how to select the best goalkeeper glove that meets your playing need and your budget. We're happy to go over any and all options with you. Finger protection, non-finger protection, game versus practice. What's most important for us is that you're in a goalkeeper glove that helps you make more saves and builds confidence. Contact the goalkeeper glove experts at keeperstop.com. We're here for you as a resource always. Thanks for watching.